Good evening. Ain't no cancer. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I study epidemiology. I bet some of you might be wondering if that's the study of skin. That's dermatology. Epidemiology is a study and analysis of patterns, causes, and effects of diseases in defined populations. Or more literally, the study of what is upon people. My research focuses on the human papillomavirus, or HPV for short. You might have heard of it. It's the most common sexually transmitted infection in the US. In fact, it's estimated that every sexually active adult will have at least one infection in their lifetime. Fortunately, most infections can clear within two years. There are many types of HPVs, most of which are not symptomatic, while some can cause warts, and others are strongly carcinogenic, meaning they can cause cancer. After long-term infection in tissues exposed during sexual contact, HPVs can cause precancerous lesions, which can then progress into cancer. The most common HPV-related cancers in the US are cervical and head and neck cancers, followed by anal cancer. Now, anal cancer is generally rare in the population. However, in recent years, there's been an increasing number of cases. Men who have sex with men, or MSM, are at the highest risk for anal cancer by far and are the target population of my research. Some of the estimates of the anal cancer rate in MSM are so high, they exceed even lung cancer, the leading cancer afflicting all men. Unlike, cervical, unlike for cervical cancer, there is no standard of care for screening and treating anal cancer due to a lesser understanding of the disease, coupled with the lack of a perceived need to do so. With my research, I hope to help the scientific community better understand the disease from several approaches. I am studying what factors influence anal HPVs to clear the body, what screening tools work best to detect precancers, and expanding on one of our lab's recent findings that I'm most excited about, where we found a strong association between high levels of testosterone and infection with the two most carcinogenic HPV types. Not a lot is known about the risks of testosterone therapy, which is frequently being recommended in older men. In the last decade alone, we've seen a tenfold increase in prescriptions. Better understanding that link between testosterone and anal disease might prove important for MSM, just as it did for women, when a strong link was found between estrogen therapy and the risk for several diseases, including some cancers. Just like cervical cancer, I believe that anal cancer can be easily prevented. And I hope in our lifetime, it becomes one of, me one of many diseases that we will eradicate. A good place to start is by just talking about it. <laughs> Thank you.